like on you could issue them a transcript and they could count for like right for college and it just kind of lends a lot of a lot more value i think to the program mm. and it also shows a commitment to continuous improvement and so um thank you for meeting with me i observed a zoom class last week i met with some students and parents last night and um and now i just wanted to just meet with a couple teachers to just get your perspective of how it is being a teacher at elc so thanks again for your time and whoever wants to go next just feel free <laughs> thank you um Hong can yes you, yeah can you uh, introduce yourself Oh, hi, Natalie. Uh, my name is Yang Zhao. Uh, I'm a Chinese teacher uh, from ELC, but I have a very strong background. I'm a radio station uh, broadcaster and a hoster, hostess. And I have a very strong background in writing and writing. I have a very strong background in writing and writing. I have a very strong background in writing and writing. I have a very strong So she, she was actually a news reporter in, in China. So she has a very... Um, experience in you know presentation and and she's also uh qualified she's certified uh mandarin chinese from china and mm -hmm. uh in our los angeles area she's actually a celebrity because she hosts a uh, radio station so nice you, you, you. you could hear her pretty often <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah thank you li ping oh. Oh, hello. Uh, the名字叫丽萍,我是以前在国内不是从事中文教学的,但是我有很多的培训经验。我以前在阿美工作,然后去是培训他们一些文化知识,那些士兵文化知识。后来到了地方上,我就是从事一些行政人士管理的工作,也
，然后现在手手底下有三个班级。Okay, so um, the teacher Lydia, um, in China, her major actually was Chinese. So she's a Chinese major, and a graduate from the normal university. They train her to become a Chinese teacher, uh, at the middle school. So when she uh immigrated to United States, and she uh wanted to use her experience to. She start with help her, you know, train her, you know, teach Mandarin for her own kids. Then later on, the ELC started, so she joined the ELC, use her expertise, and to help students. Thank you. <clears throat> nice to meet you all. So I just have just a couple questions, and、um, Lily and Shin Lu, you're welcome to also、mm -hmm. kind of chime in on answering these. But、mm -hmm. what is the <clears throat> What kind of professional development do you have for your teachers? It might be, you know, different for maybe onboarding new teachers and then ongoing training. So, just kind of in a general sense, what kind of professional development do you guys either receive or、um, get?、Um, because it's a small institute, so the currently、um, they we are using a、uh, a curriculum is. You know, and it's uh or、uh, very popular for for the all schools in United States. So we use that. Then for、mm -hmm. the professional staff development, uh, the teachers, uh, three of them will uh basically help each other, and they will figure out this is what we need, and then then you know they they have a workshop each other frequently, then find out. Um, they have to use the new new technology because some of the you know the software and some of the <coughs> was on on um you know is a on a、uh, online uh is a online resource.、Mm -hmm. So uh as a small uh institution, they uh they do the uh uh um like a professional professional development mostly by themselves and Lily sometimes. Uh, we'll send them for if there are some.、Uh, they are they are especially in in the LA area. So, uh, like during the summer time, there are some uh training teachers training for uh Mandarin, and um、uh, Lily will send them to attend the teachers training. Usually, that training is like three days. Do you offer classes during summer too? Yes. Yes, I would think summer kids would be really into you know that would be a good time for them to be able to because they're not distracted by their regular school. Yeah, <laughs> so summer is actually、uh, popular. Does you know? And then,、um, how do you, how do you all, you know, part of of the accreditation process and continuous improvement process is this constant process of gathering data, right? Analyzing that data, looking at what it says, and then making decisions. Right, the resource decisions,、uh, adopting new programs, continuing programs that you know are working.、Mm -hmm. So, how do you guys use data in order to make improvements? And it might be like, and as a teacher, you might be using like specific data in regards to. Like formative data, right? As you're teaching, but then maybe from leadership, maybe it's using data in a different way. But how do you use data to,、um, you know, as a teacher or as an administrator? So I think the uh the program uh the you know the measure is the data driven because we all believe the data will help us to actually guide us new way. So. Like Li Ping 老师或永红老师 can you show your assessment? You, you know the way they do is they have a a assessment for every single students, and they share the assessment. So anyone Li Ping or 永红老师 do you have that? 你有没有那一张可以把所有学生都放出来？那个一二三四。Anyone who has that? 有，我们有很多的这个。呃，表格或者是统计表，或者是学生的单张的作业都有。Yeah. 那你可不可以 share 给我们看？好的。嗯哼。
if students are, are performing low on an assessment in a particular unit, mm -hmm. do you go back and, and give them extra support so that they don't keep falling behind? Oh, so, so this is a uh, uh, assessment and uh, done by one class and mm -hmm. those assessments will be accumulated. So this is a person's assessment, but they also have a uh, assessment for every student. Li Ping Lao Yong Hong Lao Yo Mio Nega Ne Jang Biao Sang Jusen Yiman Suo Nega Jung Wen Bi Sai Nang Hanto Tong Shi Na Dao Yer San Sin Ne Jang. I don't know if any of you were in the meeting last night, but I was explaining to some of the teachers and parents that although I do not speak a single word of Mandarin, my daughter has been speaking and learning Mandarin since kindergarten, and she's in 10th grade, so she's taking Chinese 7, 8 right now, and she already um, tested out of the HSK. Wow, so impressive. We have to, we have to uh, invite her to. Uh, maybe when she's yeah. older, she can come uh, teach for yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So over here. Uh, 这个这个是这个是呃啊，但是这个有点有点窄，它有些可能缩进去了。你看这个。Over yeah. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. here, uh, is uh every single student. So okay. like uh teacher uh Yong Hong, she was showing a uh, specific students uh you know evaluation sheets, mm -hmm. but then they accumulate uh so that every single student will have a evaluation. So uh, so other student, other professors, they got this student. They will know uh, what mm -hmm. level for these students. Okay. And so the different colors represent different teachers. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. You can go ahead. Uh, there are ten competitions. Okay. Ah, this is this is oh, this is. Ah, wait a second. This is reading competition. Okay. Not this. This is a competition. Okay. This is reading competition. Okay. You this is competition. 嗯，是作业的记录，朗读比赛的。你要去看识字比赛的。啊，行，那等一下，我我我再看一下啊，识字比赛，等一下啊。And then I see for your teacher evaluations, the um administration conducts evaluations, and then you um send surveys to students and parents for stakeholder feedback as well. Yes, I think uh um the evaluation uh mostly from students. In Paris. Yeah. And uh, based on the students, uh, parents also very involved because it's small institute. And, you know, so uh, based on the parents and students uh, input and the teachers, they do, uh, you know, um, they do change their uh, way, um, you know, uh, mm -hmm. to, to teach. And um, uh, most likely is sometime when <clears throat> when the student their their uh, school has um you know has a, a a lot of homework and they were asked to be slowed down so basically is like your daughter is taking mandarin so basically a lot of work is uh custom customized customized for the students yes mm -hmm. Do you guys have any questions for me today? You want to ask them if they have any questions for me? Okay. Uh, Lydia, uh, Lydia Lao-shi, uh, do you have anything to show, uh, like uh, how how do you, uh, your lesson plan? Can you have a lesson plan? Do you, we had, uh, our lesson is from Meizhou Huayu. Uh, can you show our lesson plan? That'd be great. Yeah. 今天那个Lydia老师呢,他那个没有带他那个U盘来,我可以帮他秀一下美洲华语的那个教案。哦,呀,呀,不用。你跟老师说一下,我来帮他秀,因为他今天他没有带他那个U盘没有带。So, yeah, yeah, uh, teacher Li Ping is going to show um, the lesson plan at the uh, uh, 美洲华语. Uh, okay. It, it's a... Uh, 
it's a, a shared curriculum. Do students get workbooks or is it all online? A workbook. Yeah. They good workbook. Can show you. Mm -hmm. yeah. I wonder if you're using the same one that my. Um, yeah. I want to go see. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. 就是我们这个就是教材，它是一个统一的。我帮他修一部分嘛，因为他今天没有带那个 U 盘哈。啊，我来帮他修。来，我给你修一下，就是这是每周华语的教案 PPT。你可以，你等他回来的时候，赵赵老师再把那个课本修一下，因为我觉得那个课本好像是嗯，全国。全国通用。Can Can you? Uh, this is what we do. This is the one she's using. Oh, integrate and. Yeah. Integrated Chinese. That's yeah. also from that company. Okay. Yeah, it, mm -hmm. ones that you're showing me look familiar. Like maybe she used them in middle school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that 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 textbook is actually everybody use it. Okay, and so uh, Li Ping Lao Shi is going to show uh the curriculum right now. So, so the, it, it, it's 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 a uh is a. It's a how to say that's a group work. So during the workshop during the summer, they will get together and to mm -hmm. figure out how they teach. So they, for example, Li Ping 老师 can you show slide three? 第三个 slide, 第三个 show. Click on 第三第三、啊、第三册是吗？不是不是第三页第三页啊啊 OK OK. So so this will be the thing um done in the summer workshop. So they already learned that this is uh before you teach. That before you teach, they use some activity. All right. So this activity will be <coughs> sort of like a play game activity. So mm -hmm. all this is not invented by us, but is come with the curriculum. And so this is before the class. Uh, Li Ping 老师，你向下拉一下。向下拉。So this before you do it. Now this is a class. That's a lesson. They, you know, and again, the lesson here in the curriculum they have a a video for them too. So、and、these are the stories that the students were referring to last night. Uh, no. Uh, these the last night the student will do. They have different level. Now Li Ping 老师 show us is a、uh, second grade. Second, you know the the student they sh they show you some of at the fifth grade, seventh grade, but this is second level. Okay, right, right. all right. So, uh, can you scroll down? Li Ping 老师在 scroll down. So they have the workbook, they have online thing, and then uh stop right here. 等一下，现在 and the the right here and、uh, ever right here they will tell them that okay now. Is a、uh, refreshion, okay? So go down, then 再下 and it will teach them the new vocabulary right now. So that's、mm -hmm. the first new vocabulary they teach them how to write it. You know,、mm -hmm. then there are the um、uh, you know the make sentence like that's a new vocabulary, and you could make a new sentence by that way. So um, it's a it's really is not a textbook. It's a workbook. So、mm -hmm. it's a、uh, It's uh uh and there the workbook come with the video, uh video, uh audio too because they could download everything uh online. All right, and then go. Can you go to slide twenty one, December twenty eighth? So some of them they will have a、uh, pictures and、mm -hmm. it's uh they they uh so uh, uh actually uh teaching Chinese is not easy. Really, because Chinese Chinese is hard to write, but luckily, <laughs> luckily, you know, uh, the curriculum, uh, you know, especially in Southern California, the curriculum is developed well developed, and then the teachers they get together once a year. They have three days. Normally, is in Los Angeles area. Chapman University. They usually go to Chapman University, and、oh, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's really.、Uh, I think I think they did a great job, and、mm -hmm. uh, you know, as a community member, I really appreciate Chinese school because I have three kids too, and I send them to the Chinese school, and、uh, because the Chinese school, my three kids are able to speak. 
and write a little bit, write they can write, and you know, uh, Mandarin, and that's very important as a uh, uh, Chinese, uh, you know, people like me. Yeah, I heard there's a a lot like a a large demand for they're like parents that have that moved to the United States uh -huh. and mm -hmm. and didn't necessarily keep up their Chinese, but yes. they had yes. children. And yeah. their parents in China speak Chinese, but uh -huh. they don't. But they want their children to be able to. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, we we send we uh, like I I can tell you that uh, when you know I don't know whether it's everybody, but a lot of people have the same experience like me. Like we will we will force our kids to go to Chinese school. They go. We just tell them now you have to go. They they are not happy, okay? Because it's a, <laughs> th this is actual work. After school, you have to go, right? Then or Saturday, they have well, my kids go every Saturday. But I think after my kids, they 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 went to university. All my three kids Then I don't need to tell them. Each one of them, they find they they went back to find out their identity. Each one of them went to the university, take Chinese class by their own. I did not, in, you know. So I believe uh, there's a, a significant, that's a very important for the Chinese school. And they did a, a lot of contribution for the, mm -hmm. for the community. And, and not just Chinese, but I think just learning multiple languages when you're young, it's, like there's, it's yeah. proven to like open up neuroplasticities in the brain. It's, yeah, exactly. Just, they actually yeah. better. And I really appreciate, you know, like uh, uh, in in our society, you know, like a uh, couple miles, a couple block from my house, Ooh. there's a Japanese school, you know, and there's a Korean school. So is that Nishi Yamato Academy? Is she? Uh, uh, I th yes, the Japanese. I visited school. that school. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, uh, and I I believe it is good for kids because, like you say, you open their neuroscience, you know, the part at their young age. Can, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've read that there's proof that it can um help prevent Alzheimer's when they get when people get older if they've learned multiple languages. Oh, I hope that that will be true. I hope. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. Well, thank you all. I think I've got everything I need from this. And I'm very happy that you went through and showed me the lesson plan and kind of how it's laid out. Um, mm -hmm. So unless you all have any questions for me, I will let you guys get back to your busy day. And um, and then we can be in touch about um, the the letter. And then once that's in place, then, you know, I'm only two hours away. So I can come up and do the site visit whenever whenever it works. Thank you so much. We really appreciate uh, the hard work you did for us. Like you say, if we are uh, accredited and you will make a student, uh, their work be able to more value in, you know, so we appreciate your hard work. And thank you thank so you much. All. Thank you, Natalia and Kaknia. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.